some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, it's going to be a bit of a special presentation, a double feature, actually, of a uh, frauditor by the name of uh, Brand Example Reports. The first video that we're going to take a look at was sent to me courtesy of Dr. Dave Beer, professor and uh, frauded wrangler. So thank you to those two guys for letting me know that this guy uh, made a video about me uh, on a video that I made of him about a month ago. But of course, it's not exactly much of a video. I mean, he doesn't exactly uh, provide any other arguments other than calling me a special person. So why don't we go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And when we are done with the uh, first video, we're going to go straight on to the next video where he does something really special himself. So roll that beautiful bean footage. Everybody, in today's video, we find ourselves in Charlotte, North Carolina, with a frauditor who is, well, not that bright. He's not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer or whatever other metaphor you prefer to use. Uh, no, you ass munch and wanker. I don't exactly live on my knees, to, nor do I ask anybody to follow my example. Case in point, this following video shows you trying to get the uh, post office officials to bow down to you and to lick your boots. But they didn't exactly do that, and you ended up paying the price. At any rate, he goes to a uh, police station to get a FOIA request, but is denied. Now he wants to file complaints. Oh my, oh my. Go ahead and cry me a river of tears and build a bridge over it, you bloody moron. And while he does that, we can all sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. There we go. The Providence Division again. Hello. I'd like to make a couple public records requests. Uh, where are you after? I need um, names and ID numbers and salaries of all the officers assigned to this station. Now, what the hell are you going to do with that kind of information anyway? Because you know what? From what I've seen, you guys never even utilize it anyway if you ever get it at all. I guess it's just that he wants to become just like Goat Boy. Oh yeah, that's probably it. He just wants to be a goat boy bootlicker and supply his goats with food. Oh yeah, you just can't let those goats go hungry. I mean, goat boy has been feeding them enough lately. Oh, that's it? Uh, nothing of value? Nothing of any, uh, substance to counter what I said there? I mean, uh, that's very lazy right there. But of course, we're going to be in for a lazy video after this one is concluded where, where he audits a post office and just stands there for several minutes waiting for some reaction. But of course, I'm just going to fast forward through the uh, more boring parts because you know what? These guys are nothing but dead air for most of the time anyway. And a letter of agreement with the post office down the road to enforce laws on their property. the request to you and you forward it to them. Um, I can make a verbal request with you and you forward it to them whoever can fulfill the request. Oh my goodness, it looks like you're also modeling Goat Boy's attitude issues. You must be one of oh, his biggest fans on the internet. 
So, which makes you quite a sad and pathetic little individual, my friend. Because you know what? There are better people yeah, to model your uh, own personality after. And he is not one of them. Oh boy, calling me retarded. I haven't heard that derogatory term uh, ejected toward me since 1992 when I was in elementary school. So why don't you uh, come back out of elementary school and join the big boys and big girls out here in the real world and use the actual uh, insults that we use as adults that we don't exactly use on the playground. Because, you know what, that would probably get us in, in trouble with the principal. That's the way the law says to do it. He doesn't care about the law. That's the best I can do for you. Okay, can I get your name and ID number? My number is 6372. 6372. And your name? That they will know who you are. Yeah, all I need is your name. Uh, dude, this just continues to show your own intelligence right here because you apparently don't know the difference between complaining and roasting. Complaining is where you express your dissatisfaction or annoyance with somebody. Roasting is where you make fun of their failures. Now, you see, I was actually roasting you for your failures. Now I am roasting you for your stupidity because you don't know the difference between complaining and uh, roasting. So, which is going to make the next video even more fun for me to roast you considering that you wouldn't know the difference between the two anyway. Okay. Well, dude, it's time for you to go fill out a complaint form on these people. But you know what? I don't think it'll go very far because you know what? You've been known to do, well, audits on the local post offices. And that's not exactly a popular issue right now. So you know what you can do? You can go find Joey's surreal camera and join him in the ambulance because you know what? He was just recently trespassed from every single library in Pima County, Arizona. So yeah, you two can share a ambulance and uh, enjoy the butter cream. I'll be making a complaint. Well, there you go. He doesn't want to follow the law. So I'll make a phone call to them. See about getting that. Even though he's supposed to forward it to them. I bet I call them. I bet they'll tell me I have to put it in writing. And on their online form to do it, it says the law, it actually says on there, the law says it does not have to be in writing. It can be verbal. Uh, we've been here before. Well, at least it was short, sweet, and to the... Anybody else think this guy sounds like a pure moron? I'm wondering if that picture right here is actually a school picture of his. Looks like he's lick, looking for a badge to lick. Wanting a badge to lick. This guy is mentally retarded. He doesn't even understand it. Oh well, it's all fun and games. Until it comes back and bites you in the ass. Well, dude, at least I have enough self-awareness to understand where I've made my mistakes in my life and have tried to correct every single one of them. That is in contrast to you because you appeared to not have any self-awareness whatsoever because, as you just said, it's all fun and games until it comes to bite you in the ass. And this video, hosted a day or two after you rebutted try or tried to rebut mine, shows you go to a post office and getting arrested. So much for self-awareness on your part. So let's go ahead and uh, load up the next video and roll that beautiful bean footage. Hi. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and fast forward through this section because him standing here was almost five minutes long. I mean, that is a lot of dead air.
doing? All right, how are you doing? You shooting a project? Yeah. What kind of projects for you? Doing news report. News report? Yep. Uh, I want to say they call about you. Yeah? Yeah. What did they have to say? What's that? What did they have to say? Well, I haven't talked to them yet, but I said some guy was in here recording. So. Yeah. Okay. It's perfectly legal. So you you recording for the news? Yeah. Well, it's been a while since I've had to break out that old ass Elmo clip on poster seven. So let's go ahead and roll that clip and show how wrong you are. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except we're prohibited. Okay. It's not pro prohibited here. There are a number of things you glossed over in that. You didn't even complete the whole damn paragraph, and what you did read, you glossed over. The most important part that you did read, but totally ignored, was the part when used for public meetings. And there are no public meetings going on right there. So you don't have the authorization to do that without the installation head, which covers the last half of the paragraph you did not read. I will read the last part of the paragraph for you then. Prohibited by official signs or security force personnel or other authorized personnel or a federal court order or rule, other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the local postmaster or installation head. That's a fairly old clip because I stopped using that background a while back, but still it illustrates several key points that I'm about to address. Number one, you guys don't read the whole thing. You cherry pick what you want and screw the rest. And the second point I'm going to address here, and which is going to pop up here in a few minutes, you've got to have the permission of the installation head. And we will discover here in a minute that the installation head has not given you permission and ends up getting you arrested. So now, who is the special person around here that uh, doesn't exactly have any uh, common sense whatsoever and uh, no self-reflection skills? No research skills either. You work for the news, right? I am the news. You are the news. Just like everybody in the U.S. is. Okay. What, what kind of news are you trying to get here? Just reporting on the post office. Gotcha. Keep me saying, right? Yeah. Well, dude, if you are actually the news, then you really suck at it, considering no self-respecting reporter would be standing there with the thumb up their ass, doing their best impression of a mannequin. Rules and regulations over there on the post on the bulletin board. On what grounds? On what grounds? On what grounds? We don't allow filming at our facility. That um, rules and regulations on postal property does. Sir, no. That's why he's here. I'm not going to dispute with you. Thank you very much. Are you on? Uh, you just tell him he's not allowed on the property. Sir? Are you aware of the rule? Uh, sir, I'd like you to leave the ruling property. Shot v, um, sir, just, listen, Police Department. You want to call me retarded? When you're quoting a case about a passenger who is live streaming in a traffic stop, are you that bloody stupid? And that 
case was dismissed and the officers were let off the hook for it for qualified immunity. It has nothing to, to do with your issue. Listen Sir, to what he's saying. I'm asking you about law, case law. Listen to what he's saying. Sir. Saying that you're violating my First Amendment. You're violating my First Amendment. And you are violating our policy for not filming in our facility. Would you like to read the directions? Sir. The rules of the I would like you Sir, to read. Arrest me. He's, he's asking. Okay, I'm arrested. Okay, turn around to change my back. Good golly, Miss Molly. Have you ever heard the expression, people in glass houses shouldn't be throwing stones? You called me retarded, and yet you just continued to prove throughout both of these videos how much of an ignoramus you are. Talking about case laws that you have no concept over. Misrepresenting poster 7 because you've never actually bothered to read it yourself. Not understanding the difference between complaining and roasting. And then, uh, in the end, getting yourself arrested once again because, well, you don't understand a bloody thing out there. Not only did you throw a stone in that glass house, but it collapsed in on you and cut you to ribbons. So I would suggest that if next time before you call somebody retarded, you have a little bit of self-awareness and think before you speak. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.